Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. Imperfections is a new indie film that came out this summer. It's a heist, it's a comedy, it's a love story and a thriller all wrapped into one. And the best part is we have the man behind it all, the film's director, writer, and composer, David Singer. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thanks very much. Very happy to be here. That's a lot of hats to wear in a film. Tell me about that. Well, uh, it's sort of by design. So I've been a composer for a very long time, and I've always wanted to be a film director. I'd gone to film school and stopped in the middle when I got a record deal. And fortunately, my brother John is a very talented producer. So a few years ago, we decided to try to make a short film, which we did. We made a movie called Advantage Weinberg, and it did very well. And then we decided that we wanted to make a feature film under our own steam. So we came back to Chicago, which is where we're from and where the movie is set. And we made this movie called Imperfections, and it's out now. We're very proud of and it. And it's perfect. <laughs> and it's well, perfect. That's, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. No, we really enjoyed watching this movie. And um, I, you were watching it, and she had her headphones on. She just kept laughing. Yeah, I was I'm like, that's great. She, I know that my, we laughing. share an office, and I'm laughing, you know, to myself. It was the movie. And I turned around. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that part. That was good. It was so, there's so many twists and turns, and the characters were so interesting. Tell us a little bit about just kind of the premise. So it's about an out-of-work actress who gets a job working as a courier for her mother's boyfriend. Her mother is played by Mary Lou Henner, and the mother's boyfriend is played by Ed Begley Jr. And he's a diamond importer. Now this is based on a real job. I had a friend who did this job. It was a diamond courier. It was a diamond that courier. That was one of my questions. I'm so like, that's fascinating. These guys, di diamond couriers, di or diamond importers rather, don't use security companies all the time because they get robbed. So they hire young, beautiful women and they stick a bunch of diamonds in their jeans pocket and they tell them just be discreet and go someplace else. And I knew somebody who did this job who was totally unqualified <laughs> to be walking around downtown with all that money. And so the premise is that she starts working for this guy and she's not she's saving money fast enough to get to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So she conspires with the owner's son to stage a robbery and keep the diamonds. Oh, this is hilarious though because intertwined with all of this it are two really amazing, iconic actors. Mary Lou Henner plays the girl's mother, and Ed Bagley Jr. plays the diamond uh, jewelry owner and the, da the dad to That's the guy. Right. But um, with a small independent film like this, how do you go about approaching two actors of this status and saying, hey? Well, the, we got very lucky. The, uh, the truth of the matter is, is that we started out with our lead, a woman named Virginia Cull, who is an incredible actress, who is a rising superstar with good reason. And then we had these people, and we knew we couldn't afford them, so we sent them the script and said, hey, if you like this, would you consider coming to Chicago and doing it? Mary Lou Henner's from Chicago. She grew up in the neighborhood that I live in. And Ed is just a guy who's looking to do work that he thinks is interesting. And so we sent them the script, and then I got on Skype with them and sort of talked them into it. So ah. we got very lucky in that regard. It was amazing to see. We have a, a little preview of the movie, so let's take a look at a clip. I have a way that we could make some serious money, but it's shady. I'm not necessarily opposed to shady. Hey, you must be Val's daughter. Cassidy. You're going to be great. What a beautiful girl you are. I need you to get robbed. And then hilarity ensues, right? That's right. Let's hope so. <laughs> now, I want to ask you about Egg Bagley Jr. I've been a longtime fan of his. I just remember watching the Oscars as a young girl and seeing him ride up to the red carpet in a tuxedo and um, a bike. It was crazy, and he does that to all of the film. He's on his way to an environmental film festival there. Did he ride his bike to set? Well, he didn't ride his bike to set because it would have been a long commute from L.A. <laughs> okay. But he, did, uh, he didn't let us pick him up at the airport. He took public transportation in. Oh, wow. He walked to work oh, every wow. day. He never took a plastic bottle of water on the set. Ed is a lovely person, and he is as committed to his ideals as anyone that I've ever met. He spent his life building a LEED Platinum certified house that he lives in. He is a, a, an inspiration to people who, uh, for people who uh, walk what they talk. He's a great guy. Well, I understand too. Ed was really good for the movie budget, the small independent movie budget, because he's such a pro along with the ensemble cast that they were able to just really hit those lines. That's absolutely right. So we had to shoot 
eight or nine pages a day. We oh, shot wow. a whole movie in 18 days, which for a movie is nothing. And to have seasoned performers with a theatrical background and performers who are used to improvisation and used to yeah. spending long takes developing characters and developing scenes was crucial for us. And we got very lucky to have such a skilled cast. What? A, how was it like working with Mary Lou Henner? Oh, she's she, wonderful. I mean, she so, just seems so wonderful, and you see her in the movie, and she's just such a fun character. Well, part of the thing for us was we knew we wanted a Mary Lou Henner type for the, okay. for the role. Uh -huh. And the fact that we got the genuine got Mary article Lou. is kind of amazing. <laughs> but I think that people bring their understanding of who Mary Lou Henner is to watching the movie, right? That we sort of feel like we've seen her grow up in front of us, and we know the kind of person she is, and she is as warm and intelligent as you would imagine. Now, I read something TV. that Mary Lou Henner, Henner has like a photographic memory. Oh, it's beyond that. She really? remembers all the events of every day of her whole life. So you can say, you know, January 14th, 1982, and she can tell you what she had for lunch. I mean, it's kind oh, of wow. incredible. So I wonder, does she just like flash look at her scripts and then just belt out those lines? Not exactly. But I did ask her, I said, so, you know, part of being an adult is being able to forget all the terrible things that ever happened to you. <laughs> so like, how do you get through every day? And she said, it's not like, I'm thinking about it all the time. She says she just reaches for it and it's there. So that is. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Right. Yeah. That's just incredible. Or what I walked into the room to do. <laughs> That's right. Well, maybe Mary could benefit from Pinot Noir Day, you know, if you want to forget something. So I hope you and the viewers stick around because we are wine tasting coming up a little later in the show. David Singer, best of luck with imperfections. People can just Thank see it anywhere. Much. Amazon, iTunes. It's on all the digital platforms right now, your cable system, whatever, or go to imperfectionsfilm.com and we'll tell you all about it. It's funny. Trust it's me. It's really great. See this movie. movie. See She's right. <laughs> we'll see you after this. I love it. It's that. National Pinot Noir Day, and we're learning.